Hello, Jenny Shervo. Welcome to the main event. I guess you didn't get much chance to prepare to come here, did you? <laughs> no, I got a call about a week ago and um, they invited me to come. Wileen Wilson was supposed to come do the trainer's challenge and she broke her back and was able, unable to come. So um, I got the blessing and the opportunity to come here and it's been fantastic. Tell us something about yourself. Um, well, I train horses in Lodi. We ride performance horses, rangers, cutters, and cow horses. And, um, you know, we just start our own colts each year. I've never been in a trainer's challenge, but um, I feel honored to be invited here. And um, I've met a lot of great people. This is an awesome event and um, looking forward to the finals. Now you are our first female in a trainer's challenge. Um, but obviously you're holding your own and I, I don't like to make a big deal about you being the first female. However, you don't often see this. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see women start to be involved in these because we can do it as good as the boys. Um, we just There's not as many of us, so we're not in a lot of these challenges. But um, Wileen's going to get better and she's going to come back and do another one and um, I look forward to doing more in the future. So tell us a bit about the sessions you've been having with your, uh, it's a two-year-old gelding, yep, Arizona. Yeah, real nice horses. Um, Stan brings them in um, from the biggest ranch in Canada. They haven't had much done with them. Um, my first session went great. He was really um, saying yes a lot, pretty quiet and sweet. I got on him first day, um, just halter and lead rope. He was coming to the pressure and really good. The second session this morning, not so good. <laughs> he, he was a lot tougher today. He was um, really focused on the gate and his buddies right outside the gate. He had a, a filly that's right across from him that he could see from the round pen and she was hollering the entire time he was in the round pen. And so I would get his brain on me and then she would winnie and he'd go right for the gate. And then, you know, I'd get his brain back on me and I just fought that the entire hour. Um, but the main thing is, is, is um, you know, the main event is, is why I'm here. But I, at the end of the day, I feel like I work for Stan, and that horse has to leave here a better horse than when he came. And I feel like I got through doing the best I could when he walked through that gate this morning. Um, when he left, he was a better horse, and it could have went the other way. Um, but I just didn't get as much done as I would have if he was a little quieter and, and his brain was there with me. But that's okay. I'm just um, blessed to be here and, and not got hurt, and he got better, and that's all we can do each time. You have another session this afternoon? We have another session this yeah. afternoon, and I'm really curious to, because he could be great again. You never know. And that's kind of the fun thing about horses is you don't know. You know, last night he was great. Today he was really tough. Maybe he'll probably just be in the middle, you know. But I just hope he's not as focused on that gate and that filly isn't hollering nonstop. And I'm looking forward to Sunday when that situation isn't that way anymore and we just get to go in the open pen and whatever we've got, we've got. And, um, you know, all you can do is, is work with what you got and go from there. If I was at home, I'd change, you know, tie some horses on the other side and just change it up a little bit. And the only spot he's being bad is at that gate, and then that would be a non-issue. And you would go on with your training. It's no big deal. So if he's not doing anything that terrible, he's a nice horse. Douglas Lake has really nice horses. All three of these colts are good. Um, it's just how far can you take them in this limited amount of time. And um, that's just up to him. So. A major part of the Trainers Challenge is educating the audience and engaging the audience. How have you tried to do that? Um, just trying to keep it really simple and tell them what I'm looking for as I'm doing it, how I'm reading that horse, what my plan is, some of the things that I'm trying to get accomplished. And right when he's in a tough spot, trying to tell him where I'm putting the pressure and, and when I release it, seeing the big release on the colt. And uh, that's the fun part, really, to be involved with these horses is to connect with the people. And the people here in Canada are fantastic. It's your first trip here, is it? First trip. Well, we hope to have you back again. Thank you. Thank you.